a chapter a day to brighten your way. On the Sabbath, set aside time to draw near to God. Hello friends, let us read the Bible together. Today we'll be reading Psalms chapter 92. This psalm has a very special meaning. If you count carefully, you will find that God's name Jehovah or the Lord is mentioned seven times in this. This is a reference to how God created the world in six days and established the seventh day as the Sabbath. In Jewish tradition, when the first lamb is offered to God on Sabbath morning, this psalm is sung to praise God for His wonderful creations and to give thanks for His grace and the help He provided. Let's read chapter 92 together. Psalm 92, a song, a song for the Sabbath. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to declare your steadfast love in the morning and your faithfulness by night, to the music of the lute and the harp, to the melody of the lyre. For you, O Lord, have made me glad by your work. At the works of your hands I sing for joy. How great are your works, O Lord! Your thoughts are very deep. The stupid man cannot know, the fool cannot understand this, that though the wicked sprout like grass and all evildoers flourish, they are doomed to destruction forever. But you, O Lord, are on high forever. For behold, your enemies, O Lord, for behold, your enemies shall perish. All evildoers shall be scattered. But you have exalted my horn like that of the wild ox. You have poured over me fresh oil. My eyes have seen the downfall of my enemies. My ears have heard the doom of my evil assailants. The righteous flourish like the palm tree and grow like a cedar in Lebanon. They are planted in the house of the Lord. They flourish in the courts of our God. They still bear fruit in old age. They are ever full of sap and green. To declare that the Lord is upright, He is my rock, and there is no unrighteousness in Him. In the Old Testament, the Sabbath has strict rules to follow, including seizing all work. But in the New Testament, Jesus emphasized the core meaning of the Sabbath, which is to set aside time to draw near to God and remember His works. Nowadays, in accordance with this concept, Christians participate in church every Sunday, which we will learn more about in the future. If you already regularly draw near to God every Sunday, I encourage you to continue. If you are unable to make it work with your schedule, you can find reliable church services online. The main point is that when you are willing to set aside time and energy to rest at God's feet and connect with Him, you can't go wrong. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, please help me develop a routine that draws me closer to God. I want to set aside time each week to dedicate to You and grow closer to You. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. A chapter a day to brighten your way. See you tomorrow. Jesus loves you and I love you too.